I am sitting here with Clint DeGannon, our drummer for the concert on February 17th with Paul Schaefer. And uh, Clint, welcome. I can't wait to see you in Annapolis. It's great seeing you in Cyberland. But great seeing you, Maestro. Yeah. How have you been? I Last time I saw you, you were playing with Paul at yep. uh, at the Bitter End with Bitter uh, End. Yep. Will Lee and Oz Noya. That was an amazing, amazing night. Well, it's it's great that you uh, you made the trek north. Yeah, northbound, northbound, and, uh, and hung out and uh, and took it in, and it's a it's a it's a fantastic band, and it's a yeah, you know, oh, it was amazing highlights for me when that rolls around. Yeah, well, you know, it was fun. Um, you know, for those for those people who are listening to this, um, I went to see uh, Osnoy, who's this incredibly creative guitarist, um, and um, do with uh, play us uh, a, a, a double at the bitter end uh in greenwich and and clint was on drums and will lee was on bass and paul was on on keyboards and it was it was it was so good uh, it was just i you know i so i i came for the first set and i found a seat in the corner for the second set because i i didn't want to miss it i wanted to you know oh that's I nice. to be, so i caught two sets it was great so there you go yeah yeah man i'll be i'm coming up next time you play i'm telling you well so, yeah, yeah. And so speaking listen, of that, we so got we, that coming up. Yeah. Yeah. February yeah, 17th, 7 30. Yes, and yeah. uh, it's gonna be fun. We've got everybody back. It's you, Francisco, Joe Caro, Felicia, Valerie Gent, uh, me, and of course Paul, uh, yeah. the ringleader, the guy who makes ringleader. all this happen. Yeah. And, uh, so tell me tell me a little bit, because uh, one of the things yeah. that, that the audience likes to tell me how did you connect with Paul first? What what is your what is your, sure, initial, your connection with him? Yeah, the initial, I, I think the first time I met Paul was playing with the late, great Hiram Bullock, the guitar player. And we had a band and it was a, the trio, uh, which which we we were together a bunch of years, uh, seven more years, okay. um, was uh, Will Lee and uh, Hiram and myself. Uh, we did a gig, uh, Paul remembers the, where, and I, I, I don't, but I remember Chevy Chase was at the gig and he actually sat in with us. Uh, and uh, I think Lou saw off the late, great Lou saw Oh off my God. Player. So he, I think it was his gig and he had booked Hiram's band and right. Paul was playing uh, with Hiram's band that night. So we had Paul playing with us on, on keyboard. And uh, that's the first time I worked with Paul the subsequent times were, you know, there were sporadic uh, stuff in between. Right. And, uh, you know, it was always an honor and a pleasure. And, uh, you know, he's he's a one in a row. Yeah. Uh, amazing musician, musicologist, a fantastic player. And yeah. seems yeah. to know everything about about all kinds of Encyclo music. encyclopedic he's like yeah. the encyclopedia yeah. you know and we were you, you we were talking when i was talking with felicia felicia i think um really came up with what uh, the best description and it's, it's what you said but he said you know he's not just got this encyclopedic knowledge but he's a fan he's a fan of that's the right. music. yes that's true he, he, he just is. you know when you start talking to paul about the music it's just he he doesn't Gunsel want to stop yeah. yeah it's a pure uh a pure love that's a that's 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 sort of yeah. unblemished by yeah. a biz you know as yeah. we know oh yeah. yeah. so it's yeah yeah he's and then i i think i started to do more work with paul um sort of more regularly at a point when uh the show was over the letterman show was over. right paul started yeah. to do gigs with the world's most dangerous band, which was, you know, basically that band right. fleshed out here and there. Uh, his regular drummer, uh, Anton Fig, was uh, on the road with Joe Bonamassa. And, Joe Bonamassa, and yeah. He asked me uh, if I wanted to do a bunch of the concerts, and I was thrilled to do them. Yeah. And, and I think since then, uh, there have been a, a multiple opportunities, um, and I value every one of them. Among them are, are, you know, have been, I think he got to know the idea that I also, uh, uh, that playing with orchestras, right. uh, both in recording sessions and live of, of different sorts, both with and without artists that bring me, uh, 
right. it's part of my uh that's what you do it's kind it's of who part, you are. part of what i do and it's it's yeah. a sort of niche thing and I, it's 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 uh it it, it it fuses together the styles mm -hmm. with the sensibility and and whatever skill goes into being able to uh being able to play with an orchestra mm -hmm. and i i love it yeah I, it's, it's a big high for me so i'm 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 uh the idea of being able to do this with paul and yeah. and the songs that he brings in which are you know uh well you certainly do know well yeah you know, he said and then involve uh, many times involve uh orchestras as per the original versions right or big string sections or strings and horns etc cetera, etc cetera. and uh, it's it's so it's just a thrill well i remember when we were talking about doing this concert i um um i remember him like right off the bat when we were talking about what to do and how, how to put the um and we were talking about putting the band in the middle of the orchestra which i i'd done with with pickup players but uh you know over the years with different orchestras but one of the first things um that he mentioned was wanting to make sure that you know he got you in there oh well that's great and, to hear and and i'll tell you for me as a conductor um you know, when I do a concert like this, I, you know, I really, um, you know, some conductors get in, I mean, you know, not to cast shade on anybody, but, you know, conductors, we all think we're perfect. And we think that, you know, we descend right from the head of God down to earth, <laughs> um, you know, which of course we do. Uh, yes, of course. Who would argue? <laughs> but, you know, a lot of conductors, you know, they just, they don't want, they don't want any input, you know, during this, like, no, nope, I'm just going to do it my thing i'm doing it um what i love is being able to sort of lock things in with you during this concert and you know the the uh which which i think is really it's it, what it does is it 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 just raises the quality and the it, it sets the groove just that much better and yeah. well there's machinery in this there's a and anybody who tries to uh minimize or change the machinery is 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 missing the point and 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 ultimately going to sacrifice the the result the machinery yeah. as somebody i uh, i know aptly put it is that you have a conductor and you have an engineer right and and and, and th those two things are super important to run the train right, right? so right. you know it, and so it we're acting in concert right. And they got to go together. Figured, yeah, they, has to be, has to be. Yeah. So uh, yeah. that you are, uh, and you know what, the good conductors that I've worked with, and 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 most of them are open to the idea that, and especially you know, you coming in with an artist, sometimes they have no experience, right. unlike you, you're part and parcel of this uh, right. project. But sometimes they're they're inheriting the stuff in real time. Yeah, you know, they've gotten a few things in advance, but now executing right. this thing. To to uh, you 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 uh, benefit as a conductor from uh, right. uh, getting that information from the people who have already done absolutely. It. That's the piano player who's the music yeah. director, and right. and and that's the drummer, right. and then and then you know the artist may be in front. In this particular case, right. the, the artist is the piano player, right. and and yeah. uh, and and yeah. also thinking and all that. Yeah. And I think it's interesting, um, you know, when, you know, the audience, they won't really see this necessarily. They might, they might see little bits of it, but what I always love is the communication when we're setting something up between you and me and Paul and you, the three of us, yep. there's this fast little check. And, and to me, I love it. I absolutely love it. So it's, uh, and I think this show is really to me, this show is really special. You know, I I do um, I, I've I've created a lot of pop pro, pops programs over the years for my own orchestra and for orchestras, um, you know, in other places. And this one is this one is unique. Yeah. Like like yeah, I, it's totally this... unique. Yes, Paul is uh, is is, is uh, I mean one of the greatest things about this show and any show uh, if you do it with Paul is is happens in between the songs yeah there's never a down moment no never it it, it once the once he walks out 
It is it he is on for the whole time. And yep. you know, the other thing I always, you know, with that I always sort of laugh about is when we uh when we get together to rehearse, it's like it's like you, you're sitting it's a master class while we're rehearsing. So now what we're getting to is the is the level of of musicianship right from the head down. Yeah. So yeah. Paul is Paul is, you know, you you want to be your very best because you just want to give it you, you want to give that to him. I mean, hopefully we want to give that all the time, but you know, yeah. he certainly inspires that. Yeah. And then, you know, that everybody in the band is 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 great and the yeah. singing is yeah. great and all of that. Well, listen, man, this is gonna be fun. I, I, I cannot wait to see you down here in an likewise. And Can't uh, wait. we're gonna have a good time. So yes, listen, indeed we will. February 17th. This it's a it's a benefit concert for the Annapolis Chorale, the Annapolis Chamber Orchestra, with uh, uh, Paul Schaefer bringing Clint DeGannon, Felicia Collins, Joe Caro, Francisco Centeno, and Valerie Ghent, and me. And it's going to be fun, and you're going to love Annapolis. If you haven't been to Annapolis before, you're going to love it. We'll, we'll we'll have good food, good fun. Looking forward to it. Yes, it's going to be great. All right. I will see you. Well, I'll see you before the 17th, but I'll definitely see you on the 17th. Get your tickets. Go to liveartsmd.org and yes. we'll see you there. It'll be entertaining. It'll be worth your while. Worth your while. Do it. Yeah. It's going to be great. All see right. you, man. Okay. See you, Ernie.